Um, Mr. Duncan, so uh, I'm hitting the power button and nothing's happening. Wait. Wait 10 seconds. No, that doesn't work. So I, I've waited 10 seconds before and nothing happens. See, like nothing's... I swear I would try that before. Oh, beautiful Chromebooks. Sometimes we love them. Sometimes we really hate them. Okay, let's be honest here. Sometimes Chromebooks don't work exactly the way you want them, but hey, here are some tips to help you love them just a little bit more. Okay, so here's a couple of cool tips that you can use on the Chromebook. It'll make your life a whole lot easier, I think. So that's, how do you right-click? People have asked that a lot. So the way you right-click, um, one way is just click the button Alt right here. Alt and then click. So Alt and click. And say, I want this picture, I want to copy and paste it. So I got to right click it and I could do it like that. Now for me, that's a little too slow. What I like to do is the two finger click. So I use two fingers on the trackpad, click and boom, it's a right click. That's awesome. The other thing is scrolling. Well, with the trackpad, it's annoying to go over here to the edge and just to scroll up and down. Instead, just use two fingers and scroll up and down like that. That's a lot easier. Now these next few ones, most of you have probably already seen, but if you haven't seen them, they'll totally change your life. But these are things you can actually do on all computers. So that's copy, paste, and undo. So right here, you want to copy and paste something. Let's say you got a picture or you got some words, like you wanna like you type something up somewhere else. You want to copy and you click Control C, and then, and that's the same thing as right clicking and copying. And you go back here and you can, and then hit Control V. V is paste. That's the same thing as doing the right click and then pasting like that. So, same thing Control C copies and Control V pastes. So, pretty cool. That's awesome. But sometimes you make some mistakes. Control Z is how you undo things. So I can hit the undo button right here. Or I can just simply hit Control Z on my keyboard. Okay, I'm showing you this segment straight from a Chromebook just to show you because there are some times, probably plenty of times, where you're going to have to paste or insert or upload some pictures into an assignment or an email or something like that. So hey, let's say you got this assignment right here and you need, to, you need to upload a picture from your drive. So you already have a picture you've already taken, it's already on your drive. Well, how do you do that? So all you have to do is click insert image and click on drive. And then over off to the side, you click, you can double click on the actual assignment. You can click on drive to navigate to it, or you can click on your most recent one. It'll pop in there and boom. There it is. So um, what's another way you can do this? Well, you're probably going to do a lot of copy and pasting. Like maybe you're doing some a Google slide presentation or something like that. And you want to copy and paste a picture from Google. So remember the, the two finger right click. Bunk. You can copy that image and then whatever assignments, whether it's this right here or a Google slide you're going to do, you can right double double finger right click or you can control V, either one even tells you the shortcut here and paste it in and there you have it. Cool. So the other thing you can do is screenshot and screenshotting is really important, especially if you're having problems. If you want a teacher to see a specific grade or see something from your point of view, it's great. Um, like if you're having an error message, like, hey, I submitted, this is what it looks like, just take a screenshot. So here's something that I want to screenshot. And if I want to screenshot, the cool keyboard show or shortcut on the Chromebook is you hit Control, Shift, and sh the Show Windows button right here. So if I click that, the screen grows gray, and then I get a cursor here where I can select, and I just click and drag the area that I want to actually screenshot. So I want to screenshot this part. There we go, and it's got this cool thing right here that pops up. What you really want to do is copy to clipboard, because once you copy it to clipboard, then you can paste it anywhere you want. So if you got this email that you wrote to your teacher, hey, I'm having this weird error message, then I can do my cool control V, and then it pops up right there. 
Um, now, really what happens whenever you do that screenshot, it always gets saved. And here's how you can, you can access that saved file. Click on the launcher here and then click files. If files doesn't appear, then you can click the up arrow and search for files. So your file actually shows up, yours probably shows up in the download section. Mine doesn't, mine goes straight to Google Drive. Maybe yours does that too. Mine goes to Google Drive, and then I can access my screenshots right here. Look, I took a couple of screenshots right there, and there it is. And when you go to paste it in, just like you saw before, I can either do, if I copied it to clipboard, I can do Control V and it pastes back in, or I can do it the other way. Like I said, insert image from Drive in this case, because I saved it to my drive, and then it, it should be a recent thing that I just, I just created. So here it is, screenshot, boom, there it is. Double click that, and it'll pop right in. So there's a couple ways we can do it, but screenshots are awesome. And so finally, what you're probably gonna wanna do is maybe even take a picture from your camera and then insert that in there. Maybe you're taking a picture of an assignment or a picture that you actually drew, but it's really hard to draw using the trackpad on the Chromebook. So here's how you do it. So you click insert image, and then this time you click camera. And then you'll see me twice here in a second. Hey, there I am. So then I have a picture that was for my assignment like this. And then I can click the camera icon, it takes a picture. Now, one key thing when you're taking a picture like this, if you're taking a picture of a document like this, make sure it's clear. So uh, I could just have something like this. It's not very good. Um, or something that's just like too far away. Teacher can't see it. If you want it to fill the entire screen, and it takes some practice to be able to do that. There we go. Perfect. Okay. And so then I got my perfect picture. I can choose from whatever. I'll choose that one, looks better, so I'll click Insert, and then boom, there it is. And then from there, you can resize it if you want. And wow, what a beautiful picture there. Hey, here's a free tip. You know at the beginning, how I was clicking the power button over and over, and how lots of people like to push buttons over and over to speed it up? It, it doesn't work. Actually, when you click something, it's processing, and when you click it again, it starts the process over again. So whenever you click something over and over, it goes slower. I swear I tried that before.